What's up, guys? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. From Captain Lawrence Brewing Company in Elmsford, New York, this is... Hop Commander IPA. Here's what the brewery has to say about this beer. We jumped the gun along the way, making our Hop Commander IPA before a base, but it worked out well for us. Working backwards gave us an incredible profile to work off of to make a very well-balanced IPA with a lighter, softer touch than our, than our Imperial version, but still packed with hops. Hops used include Columbus, Centennial, Citra, and Bravo. Waltz used Canadian Two-Row, 6.5% ABV, and 65 IBU. Let's check it out. Hmm. Uh, nice, slightly hazy orangish color. Kind of moves more into gold as I hold it up to the light. And uh, will probably be a good finger and a half to two fingers worth of head in a standard glass. This one's a little bit wider than average. Pretty beer, though. A whole bunch of big bubbles on top, though a fair amount of uh, pillowy smaller bubbles as well. Let's, ch let's uh, check it out. Mm. Whole bunch of pine, a little bit of a, a dank note and some citrus in there as well. That's a, a hint of sweetness that's kind of making it into like a uh, a citrus candy, like a citrus gummy candy. I kind of think of the uh, the gummy orange wedges that are coated in sugar. But uh, pine notes are really the prevailing flavor note for me. Maybe just a hint of maltiness on the on the back end, but this is very much a, a hop forward beer, as a as I kind of indicate in the description. Very much hop forward, and um, as I said, plenty of pine, some uh, some citrus, some sweet citrus, sweet orange. Uh, dang, this is really kind of hanging around uh, as in the aftertaste, still lingering on my palate. Well after uh, the well after I drank the beer, fairly straightforward. Uh, very much a, a Hopheads IPA. Uh, not super bitter, really. Though again, there's plenty of hop presence, but. Uh, just uh, there's a, a moderate bitterness in the kind of in the back half of the drinking experience, and um, it's kind of joining the the dank note in the aftertaste. But as you're drinking, there's not a whole there's not a ton of bitterness to it. Pretty tasty. Uh, again, just a solid, straightforward IPA. Nothing. Uh, Nothing groundbreaking, but no major, uh, no major flaws to it. Uh, good stuff from Captain Lawrence. So short and sweet. Uh, that does it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer. Uh, just a quick reminder: you'll be seeing uh, two, <coughs> excuse me, two reviews this coming weekend. Again, making up for the upcoming Christmas holiday, where I don't, I expect I'll be able to write, but I don't think I'll be doing any kind of videos. So uh, a couple of it should be uh, really fun reviews, especially Sundays. I think it's going to be a uh, a really big time review. Really looking forward to that one. Uh, you can find all of my reviews, video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. You can find all those links in the description below. And you also uh, find you can also find me on Untapped and Instagram, the mobile apps, under the username Poorly Reviewed Beer. Also, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.